Good morning, Lobos. I'm Claire. And I'm Zoe. And Weekly Wolf starts, starts now. now. Recently, we have finally seen some cooler weather. It's about time. It really feels like sweater weather is just around the corner. You know what else is just around the corner? The second quarter. And fall break. More on current events with Sophia. Our elementary cross-country team won the city championship last week. Today is the high school honor society trip to Factory Obscura. We will be leaving from the school at 5 p.m. after cheer. Monday is the all-region choir festival. This year, 11 more students will be singing in the choir. In the junior high, we have Abby, Caitlin, LaVey, Grace, Jimena, and Cade. In the high school, we have Jacqueline, David, Winston, Mason, and Brendan. Next Friday is the end of the quarter. These nine weeks grades will be average with the next nine weeks for your semester grade. So make sure to turn in any last assignments in the, at the end of the quarter. Next Friday is also the deadline for the critical design review for our robotics team. After students crush these deadlines, they can rest easy over fall break beginning on October 10th. Well, almost all of our students can. Our high school academic team will be traveling for their first meet. This competition will determine their seating at districts, so wish them luck. Three of our high schoolers will be traveling to Chicago to look at colleges, and some of the robot drivers will be traveling to Alva on the 15th to practice with our robot. Reporting for Weekly Wolf, I'm Sophia. Thanks, Sophia. Mrs. Sheets is a new teacher in the elementary this year. She is currently teaching fifth grade. Let's go learn more about her with Avani. How do you enjoy teaching fifth grade at Lyon Academy? I love it. I love that age and I like how independent they can be, but at the same time how they still enjoy playing with the smaller kids. What is your favorite subject to teach? All of them. Um, science is awesome. I like to be hands on with science. I love math um, and having competitions to see who remembers what and speed recognition. Um, and then reading. We just actually finished reading a book holes and we're about to read Star Girls, so it'd be hard for me to pick. What made you want to be a teacher? So, funny story. So I was in the Army for 15 years and I got out, but before I was in the Army, I really wanted to teach. So once I got out of the Army, I took that on and I started working on my master's degree to be a teacher. What is your favorite part of the school year? I think it was the first week where I got to know the kids and found out more about them. So it's kind of like growing into them once you guys become a little family, it's really cool to see how everything moves together. What is your class like? Loud. Um, my class is very loud, but it's because there's a lot of learning going on, a lot of conversation going on. Um, you can tell when it's a quiet, it's like a curious quiet, um, but usually it's loud and controlled loud. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Ivani. Now it's time for sports news, where we do sports. Hey, where did you come from? Maybe I've been here the whole time. As I was saying, welcome to Sports News. The elementary cross-country team won city best at their meet last Friday. The crazy thing is that it was actually our fourth, fifth, and sixth graders who, meet the, who beat the middle school teams of Central, MacArthur, and Eisenhower. Great job, cross-country team. This week, the volleyball team ends its season with games Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Next Thursday, the team is having an end-of-season party. Wrestling begins after fall break, but there's still time to sign up. Ask Mr. Smith for more details. Wrestlers will go to competitions this season. Soccer just had their first games of the season, and eight of our nine teams won their games. Great job, Lobos. That's all for this week. I'm Cole, reporting for Weekly Wolf. Thanks, Cole. This week's Student Spotlight is on Hattie, a talented photographer in first grade. She was even on Channel 4 News this summer. More on that story with Gavin. This week's student spotlight is on Hattie, who has been recognized all over the state for her sunset photography. She even appeared on Channel 4 News this summer. A few times a week, she goes into her backyard and captures a very unique sunset from right behind Mount Scott. She loves the colors of the sunsets and how they make her pieces stand out from others. She's displayed pieces all across Southwest Oklahoma, including in one of our very own Viridian coffee shops. They are currently on sale in a wine shop in Medicine Park. She told us that her family is planning a trip to Greece in the near future, where she's hoping to get even more sunsets, this time over the Mediterranean, and maybe even a couple of the sunrises as well. We hope that they have fun and can't wait to see more of her pictures. She will be featuring in the Art Festival this year. I'm reporting for Weekly Wolf, I'm Gavin. 
Thanks, Gavin. Hey, Claire. Don't you hate it when delivery services take forever? Yeah, I wonder what takes them so long. Guess who got a job? What job? <laughs> delivering pizzas. Who would want a job delivering pizzas? You have to use your own gas and nobody tips well. And your car starts smelling like work. Yeah, sure. But you know what I get? A $10 bonus if I deliver the pizza in under 10 minutes. Wow, $10. Sign me up. Yeah, yeah. Joke's on you, because it was 10 pizzas in one night, that's $100 in my pocket, not yours. Y'all don't get anything. Man, I've got a text. Gotta run. Later, losers. Catch you later, losers. My guy can be such a jerk. It's not wrong about making an extra 100 bucks, though. Fair. You know what I could do with it, 100 bucks? Get a real haircut? Please. Ow! Hey, what are you guys doing here? Oh, hack, get the hack, jokes hack, on get you. The side, get the you side. Go to the other side. Suckers! Man, finally I'm gonna be able to get this pizza delivered and make an extra hundred dollars. Your pizza man. Uh, I got a hundred dollars. I got a hundred dollars. I got a hundred dollars. You got squat. Told ya. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. See you next time on Weekly, Weekly Wolf. Wolf.